Like everything else in our world, COVID-19 has disrupted the finance organization. And the way we're seeing it in terms of the finance workforce is that when COVID-19 first hit back in March, it was right towards the end of the first quarter there, and suddenly the CFOs had to react very quickly and, and make a ton of rapid changes, right? From moving a workforce remotely to enabling maybe some mobile technologies that weren't there before and even weren't con- contemplated before, as well as you know doing some surge activities to be able to catch up really quickly as they got to quarter end as it relates to those disruptions. What happened, though, is that after that initial push, that initial surge for that moving to that new model, it really led into the finance leaders thinking about what does their finance organization need to look like in the future? And does it need to look the same? And that varies from a lot of things. You know, the big obvious one is, hey, do we still need our office space like we used to have before? Do we need to still have a team in person on prem or or is there a better way to figure this out? Another thing that came to mind was, well, do we need the same number of FTEs, permanent employees, doing the same things? And what we've started to see is a lot more variable resourcing type models. And that can be some things to respond to, and I keep using the word surge, but surge periods of activity, right? Times when you can put a trusted model in place to respond to the surge, but not keep those permanent FTEs around year round. It could also be some combination of staffing arrangements. It could be some staff augmentation. It could be managed services arrangements. It could be full outsourced arrangements for the less complex tasks that you are okay with not owning anymore. So the the finance leaders, you know, just to kind of summarize, they They responded quickly, but then they've also fairly quickly moved into this new model. And as they start thinking about 2021 and even beyond 2021, you know, 2022, when we're hopefully back to whatever the new normal is, they've already really sketched out what that framework looks like for the finance organization. 